shot lead at Eastlake in Atlanta. Speaking of Atlanta, in 1932, the Bobby Jones Golf Course opened as the first public golf course in Atlanta as a tribute to one of the greatest golfers of all time, Bob Jones. The Bobby Jones Golf Course Foundation transformed the course in 2018 into a facility worthy of his name, featuring a revolutionary new golf course design with two flags on every green. Our very own Matt Vanella takes you on a trip to Atlanta to take a look at this historic course in this week's Golf Advisor Round Trip, Bobby Jones. Atlanta, a cultural melting pot, is home to five million people, countless events, and numerous world-class venues, which includes Mercedes-Benz Stadium, host to the 2019 Super Bowl. The city's ongoing evolution was my focus, beginning with the Beltline, one of the largest urban redevelopment programs in the country. My first stop was the Atlanta Athletic Club, where I'd spend time with Bobby Jones IV, who provided history and perspective on why his grandfather mattered then and now. When you turn and you see the statue or you're on Bobby Jones Drive, like, does it actually still resonate with you? Do you actually get still emotional? Yes, there is never a time that I'm here where I am not incredibly humbled by what my grandfather accomplished. We were not even a hundred years out from the Civil War. There was a real belief that no good players could come out of the South because we didn't have the greens yeah. that they had in the North. And here comes my grandfather. Not only proves it wrong, but does it in such style and such grace that they, they just embrace him and embrace this city at the same time. But now we're also talking about the Bobby Jones Golf Course in the Atlanta proper, you know, area. It's almost like let's get let's get the product to match the, the legacy. Name. Yes, yeah. the late Bob Cup, who was a wonderful architect. Uh, yeah, love him. Bob came into this thing and he said, "Guys, I'd like to give you an 18-hole course, but he said that's like trying to fill a square with triangles. Yeah. It's just not going to work." Yeah. He said, "But what we can do?" He said, "We're going to make this a reversible nine, which is radical." Yeah. He said, "If we do that, we'll put a driving range on it, and we'll be able to put a little six-hole golf course just for kids." And what's even more to the point, because of my grandfather, it is also very, very accessible in terms of handicapped golf. Oh, wow. And it gives people the opportunity to have access to this game of golf who would never have had it before. Now, I can't help but think, given how my grandfather struggled with syringomyelia over the years, would not be really proud to see. I know we are. Joining me for my first look at what will no doubt be a blueprint for other municipalities looking to reimagine golf and green space is Josh Harris and Matt Posher. These two have been the battery of long snapping and punting for the Atlanta Falcons for almost 10 years. Oh boy. Oh. What do you guys like about Atlanta when you have buddies come in from out of town? What's, what is it about Atlanta that you love? I mean, really everything. I mean, the place is a melting pot. I mean, the culture yeah. is so mixed and diverse. I mean, it's uh, a lot of great places to go see. Let him in. Uh, that's good. What are you guys' first impressions of this place? I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it's really I mean, great. wide open. Yeah. And golly, I was able to hit it a mile left on the opening tee, and I'm still <laughs> in fairway. I mean, golly, you can't beat that. Yeah. It's just yeah. like flat. Yeah. But like... Fun? Yeah, fun. Uh-oh! Being here in the heart of the city, I think there's something to be said for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. You look around, and you, you don't even realize that this space, you know, is here. You got downtown a couple miles away. Our stadium, which is pretty much downtown, a couple miles away. I mean, it's you're right in the middle of everything. You know, if you're going to put a, a name like Bobby Jones to, to a course, you know, this has really uh, done that at a very high level. To have a facility like this around here is it's fantastic, especially for young kids to be able to get into the game. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you thank for you. the time. Hey, thank you for it, coming yes, out. sir. Thank you. Appreciate I'm jealous it. you guys got this in your hometown right here. Nice. I mean, I, very nice. And I smell a rematch coming. Let's Perfect. do it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. My 19th hole on this trip... That'd be The Garage by Monday Night Brewing. The beers we make here are more like wines in the sense that they're vintages. 
So the barrels you see in here have been in here for a little over two years. Time and barrel, you blend the barrels, creates a unique product. You're like a superhero. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but I like the idea of it. <laughs> this is a food or aged pilsner. Cool. Cheers. Thank you. Wow. You guys got to try this. Great stuff, Matt, on all the insights and golf and more in the city of Atlanta. But when we return on this Tuesday, should Tiger Woods pick himself to play on the 2019 U.S. President's Cup team? Sit him. 